Ah, Squidward tentacles. The octopus with six legs and, uh, is somehow an octopus. Why? The round shaped head. Yep, that's exactly why. Octopuses have round heads and squids have triangular type heads. That and the creator I said it too. Squidward has always been seemingly grumpy and irritated throughout all the seasons. In fact, he may be the only character that has barely changed throughout all the seasons. He still likes playing the clarinet, likes to paint, and he still likes dancing. That hasn't changed at all, and he may seem a bit more angry in the newer episodes, and let's be honest, can you really blame him? I mean, look at the crap that he has to go through on a daily basis. Annoyance from Spongebob and Patrick, and bullcrap from Mr. Krabs at the Krusty Krab every single day. Oh, and trust me on Mr. Krabs, he's next. Honestly, nowadays, you just can't help but feel sorry for Squidward. He goes through all of this every single day. That's why, in most of the episodes, he's kind of like sometimes on the verge of just breaking down, like screaming and yelling, and that's why he's so angry all the time. Thanks to these stupid, ignorant a But if you take that all away from him, Squidward probably wouldn't even be this way. He would probably be somewhere more of like, maybe a more laid back character. He probably wouldn't seem so grumpy and irritated all the time because, you know, if SpongeBob and Patrick weren't so annoying, and if Mr. Krabs gave him fair pay, of course that would never happen, and if he actually treated him well, Squidward would probably be a whole lot more happier. Trust me. And to be honest, I think Squidward actually tries to be happy at times. He, first of all, he tries by getting rid of SpongeBob and Patrick and just being able to relax. That's definitely how he tries to be happy with his life. And other ways that he tries to be happy as well, and this does go through both seasons, but mostly in the older episodes of Spongebob, he tries to have fun. And, well, he tries to have fun in the ways that he knows that he can, but then, if you notice, he also ends up trying to have fun the way Spongebob and Patrick does. Here's an example, the imagination box. So Spongebob and Patrick get this gigantic box, and they just sit in there just so they can play imagination games and in the episode throughout the entire thing while they're in the box they're making these actual realistic noises squidward gets interested he wants to know how this works he actually wants to experience how this works because i'm pretty sure deep down he knows this is probably something he would like and it's probably something that he finds fun but of course when Every time he tries to get in, the sound stops, they stop their entire smash thingy, blah 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 blah, and he gets more frustrated. Then he tries to take his mind off of it, but he can't. Which, he, it happens to him a lot. Like, for instance, here's another example. Blowing bubbles. In the episode, which was Spongebob's first episode, when he was blowing bubbles, Squidward was getting annoyed at Spongebob blowing all of these bubbles, especially when all of these bubbles were completely ridiculous. <laughs> a giraffe, not even a giraffe, it was an elephant. Dang it, Patrick! <laughs> oh my god. But anyway, so he would be making these bubbles that are like elephants or a caterpillar or a butterfly, and it would actually make these noises, and it annoys the crap out of Squidward. But, when he tells those two to go home and end this bubbling stuff, he actually tries to do it himself, but he ends up back, but Spongebob ends up catching him in the act and saying, you gotta pay 25 cents and lessons, so Squidward actually gets caught into it, and then he blows this gigantic bubble after doing that crazy technique, and then he's actually happy about it, then he starts feeling good. And, you know, honestly, I really do think that Squidward overall is, you know, he's just a person who just wants his life to be good. He wants his life to, you know, be happy, be carefree, just be where he doesn't have to deal with the annoyance all the time. And he would rather do most of that by himself or with another person who happens to have the same type of likes as he does. And, you know... 
if he was able to live in that type of environment, he would be able to, but unfortunately he can't because of the job he has and because of SpongeBob and Patrick. Now, if there is something that I could probably say is different between Squidward now and Squidward before, I think Squidward in the older episodes were, was a bit more fun than the now Squidward because he does bicker a whole lot in this new season and it's also the fact that well you know he splurts out how much he hates everyone and well I mean again you can't really blame him because all the stuff that he constantly goes through is ridiculous but hey you know it still is a difference and then sometimes I can say that his hatred for everyone can go a bit too far. But then I gotta go ahead and look back and, first of all, just look at how everyone in the Bikini Bottom has been acting out lately. Like, everyone in Bikini Bottom literally looks stupid now. The townsfolks, they, first of all, they look like douchebags, and then they look very, very stupid. I mean, the creators are just making everyone look so retarded. Mr. Krabs, of course, and again, I'm getting to him in the next video. Be prepared for that one. Patrick, ugh! SpongeBob SquarePants, even Sandy! Sandy is even seemingly dumbed down to, like, some sort of stupidity. She's supposed to be a very smart squirrel. And, okay, to a point, yes, she is still a smart squirrel, but she's still kind of dumbed down a bit, if you've noticed in the newer episodes. And because of that, Squidward hasn't really been dumbed down either. He just gets more and more and more and more irritated. And this is another thing that I also got to mention about Squidward and the show as a whole. Why do they torture Squidward so much? I think Mr. Inter made a video about like, and he called it Squidward torture porn. Because literally, that's exactly what it is. Because... In every single episode of Squidward's End, he's always tortured in one way or another. There's no episode where he is safe from SpongeBob, Patrick, or Mr. Krabs. So, you know, that's that's you know all I can really say about it. Because let's be honest. Yeah, he may be more of a jerk at some points, but you can't blame him for it. Trust me. But Again, if you take that away, she would probably be more of a laid-back character and probably more of a... Who knows? Who knows? It's probably what would have happened, but because he's always stressed out with SpongeBob and Patrick and Mr. Krabs and probably Plankton and everything going on in Bikini Bottom, all I can say now is, can you really blame him? I didn't think so. Now before I end this video, I would like to say I'm very sorry for this video being extremely late. I made this video like a few weeks back and I wasn't really able to fully edit it and complete it and upload it at the time that I wanted it to be done. So that was a huge problem because I'm in the school play and we were having very tactic rehearsals because we only had like what six to eight months to actually do this entire thing. So, we weren't given enough time, but we still were able to pull through. Now, since I'm pretty much done with that because I'm about to have my last performances this weekend, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get back on track, period. So hopefully, my next video will be up, um, able to be uploaded on Friday. So, let's hope that that happens and I'm gonna go ahead and see what happens. We'll see what happens there. And the last thing I would also want to mention, while I was gone, apparently I reached about over 2,000 subscribers. I mean, jeez, man. I did not know how far I was going to get in, 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 in terms of getting subscribers. Like, 2,000 subscribers, that's pretty big. That's big for me. I mean, that's amazing. I, I just want to say thank you for all the new subscribers for checking out this channel and you know, liking this channel, subscribing to me. And, you know, if you guys think that I'm really that good, and if you think that you have some friends that would probably be interested in the certain topics that I talk about, then, you know, go ahead and refer them over to me, and, 
you know, tell if they like it, tell them to subscribe and tell their friends and blah, blah, blah and stuff like that. It would be great. I'd love it. So, yeah. But, you know, for everyone who's been here making it possible for me to reach 2,000 subscribers, I wish I could do something very special for you guys. And I would just like to say thank you very much for this. It's amazing. And you guys are awesome. All of you guys are awesome. Most of you guys are awesome. I'm just kidding. You're all awesome. Anyway, that's all I got to say. And I will see you guys next time. This is Joshua Williams from Regular Joshua. And remember, you're hearing it from a regular pony in a regular world. Peace out. And as always, thanks for watching.